Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own sitemap. And what exactly is a sitemap? A sitemap is kind of a way for you to kind of visually or plan out the different type of pages that you're gonna have on your website. And then you can even go further and actually plan out the different sections you plan to have on each of those pages. Now, for today's video, we're going to be using the one built into Wix Studio, but there are plenty of other options to create sitemaps. I know there's a really popular one on Reloom. You can even do it in design softwares like Figma or Adobe Illustrator or something like that. You can create sitemaps in many different ways, but this is a very handy tool. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here I am inside of Wix Studio, and now I want to go ahead and create a sitemap. So what I'm going to do is just come over here to the left sidebar, and there's going to be an option right here called Visual Sitemap. And we're just going to click this, and we're going to open up this page right here. Now, one thing I really like about this is how easy it is to add pages. Like, we have a home page right here, and it's super easy to simply just add a new page. And we'll make this a blank page. And for this page, maybe it's an about page, right? Super, super easy. And let's say we wanna add or change sections on our homepage. Like for a homepage, you typically at the very top, you wanna have like a hero section that kind of explains who you are, what you do, and who you do it for. So that's typically really good. And then if, if you want, you can easily just add another section by pressing this three dots and you can make it a blank section. And you can see like it has a bunch of different options here to choose from. So maybe you might want to have like a little about section next. Then maybe you want to have like a services. Then maybe you want to have some testimonials, maybe like an FAQ section. And last but not least, maybe like a promotional section or what I like to call like a CTA or call to action. So I might even name this call to action. Perfect. And just like that, we have already designed or at least planned the different sections that we'll have on the homepage. And then we can just do that for the rest of the website. But before we do that, what I want to do is actually think about what kind of website we are making. Are we an e-commerce website or are we maybe a business that offers services? So for example, if we are a business that offers services, maybe we, we allow our users to book services with us on our website. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to my business and we're gonna find apps here. And one of the first options is gonna be Wix bookings. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to our website. Now it's obviously gonna add a bunch of the pages and even elements required for this to work on your website. Now I'm not really gonna cover design too much today. If you're interested in seeing how to design your own header or design things, I've already uploaded videos on the channel. So check the links in the description if you wanna learn a little bit more. But if we head back over to our visual site map in the sidebar, we're now gonna see a bunch of different options here on our website. So. For booking pages, we now have a book online page, booking calendar, service page, booking form cart page, thank you page, and even side cart. We then also have a members area, which is kind of like the back end for your user. They create an account, and now they have a my account page, my booking services, my orders, like anything that relates to that specific user, they'll have a page for that in the back end. And then you also have sign up and login form pages as well. Now I will say, for the most part, you really don't need to touch these pages too much, but if you needed to, you could always add additional sections or you could go to these pages and simply just make sure that the fonts and color and just general design styling and services and setup of these apps is how you desire, but we're not really gonna be focusing on that in today's video. The main thing that I'm trying to get across here is once you add these apps, it also adds pages to your sitemap that you can then add stuff to. Our main goal of our pages up here for our main pages should be to help promote these down here, right? So for example, we might have a homepage and I kind of already designed this in a way that would actually really work well for your services. You wanna talk about what you offer and who you offer it to, a little bit about the company, a list of your services, a list of previous client reviews, maybe some 
frequently asked questions. And then last but not least, a call to action. I think that is actually a really good structure for honestly a lot of different home pages or landing pages. Then for the about page, you might want to have like page title section, kind of like the page hero. Uh, you might want to have like a section for your mission statement, maybe another one for your values or company values. Uh, maybe you have your team on the page. Maybe there's like a call to action for maybe a join the team like call to action so people can apply to work at your company. And one thing I really like about this is, you know, especially as a designer or even if I'm working on a design team, one thing I really like about this is once I have this setup and design ready or these this plan ready, I can go ahead and start working on the pages and building them. And what I love about this so much is, you know, I can go ahead and set the kind of status for the page. So maybe we have one for to do, like we still have to do this page. And maybe once we completed the initial design we, or start working on, it, we could say in progress, or maybe now we finished the design and we can start working on maybe some client feedback or, or working on revision rounds. We can do iterations. And then maybe once the client or business is completely happy with that page, we can mark it as done and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, if I go ahead and go to the home page and I go ahead and exit out of the visual site map, and if I come over to the home page, you're going to notice that it's basically placed in a bunch of kind of pre-built sections for us. And if you like that, that's good. I'm personally not a huge fan of it. If I'm being completely honest with you, this is still somewhat of a beta feature. So like a lot of the designs are quite lackluster and just very kind of like all the same style. And it's just kind of one of those things where I just prefer to design it myself. If I'm being honest with you, I don't want to have to work around their pre-build designs if I'm being completely honest. So with under the visual site map, you'll notice that when you add a brand new section, there's an option to generate wireframes and content. If you don't want to do that, go ahead and turn this off because personally, that's what I would do. I, I'm not a huge fan of the pre-generated content, the pre-generated designs of the sections. Um, but one thing I will say that I do like about this is when I come over here to the layers panel, you can see how it has designed everything, how it's named all of our sections for me, right? And I think that looks really, really nice. Um, for some reason, it put the FAQ app in the hero section, so you can just remove that. Um, but you know, the hero section is something that we added and we didn't add by pressing the add and having this generate content from one of their pre-selected sections here, right? If we add a blank section, then it's not going to generate anything here, right? Cause it's a blank section. But if we go to add, make sure that the generate is on and choose one of these options here, then it is going to try to generate stuff into that section based on the section that you selected. Again, not a super huge fan of the pre-designed sections, but what I do actually really like is how it names the different sections here for you. So you know, while you're building your website, what kind of section that you're planning to build. So I, I really do like that. And I will say though, if you followed me with my last video, when I've kind of created a template section for my empty sections, where I kind of created a template empty section under my assets. Um, one thing to note here is when you go ahead and replace a section here, just like that and come back over here, it does convert the name back to just section instead of hero. Cause before I had this section set as hero section, but if you replace the section with a saved asset, it changes the name back to section instead of hero. So you just need to go in here and replace it as hero, just like that. And just like with this, if you didn't mean to generate content for your about section and you want to design your own, just kind of like how I did before, add a new section. We'll call this one about, and then we'll grab this section and we'll just go ahead and delete it. And I would go ahead and do that for all the sections here because if you followed my last video, this template for an empty section is actually really useful. So it is kind of nice to be able to plan things, but then like I mentioned before, I would then replace the sections and then rename them here in the layer panel. But 
all in all, that is the sitemap builder here in Wix Studio. It's, it's really useful to help you plan and think about the structure of your website. And it's also good because it allows you to keep track of which pages need your attention or if you are done with the design. It's actually really handy for that. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.